hi guys and hey welcome back to my channel my name is sonia i'm so excited to have you back um this video is a part two of the video i dropped on how to how to pad the hip and the butt and how i made the bottom part of this dress please if you know you've not watched the video check my description box you're going to see the link you can click on it and watch it please guys this channel is a new channel and i'll be so honored and grateful if you click on the subscribe button and click on the share button and the like button to help this community grow god bless you and let's continue so we added two inches to the hip line just there and then we blended it in with the waist and the under hip and then we went ahead to cut the back part and we also added two um zip allowance one and a half inch just there so i went ahead to sew the hip parts that we cut down with my machine and this is what it looked like when i was done so remember label it so i used my machine like i said you could use your hand needle you can use the machine i also went ahead to sew that so uh lining that we cut down i marked my actual measurement like i said on the lining and remember we added two inches allowance so and i went and ironed it neatly so it's looking like this when i was done please try and always iron your work it makes it neat and it makes it balanced so guys on the lining the waistline i came down by 1.5 inches remember when we were cutting the hip pad we came down but by 1.5 inches so i marked that in one side of the waistline i'm always marking in the other side 1.5 inches just like that I pick up my pad so i'm going to be placing it below that 1.5 inch line on directly on the seam line where i sew that line i sewed i'm going to place it on it and then i'm going to go down and make sure i sew on it thank you so much for coming this far i want to remind you to subscribe guys i went and um sewed down the akara and this is what it looked like when i was done so initially i marked 45 on the hips but when i went and i sewed it it was looking so sharp so i went and i removed one one inch from it so at the end of the day the whole hip padding that i did my hip was a sum of 44 inches so what i did next was to take my lining i've already gone to join my line my hip pad to the lining properly and i sewed it round so what next i'm going to be doing is to um join the lining that I already fixed the hip padding. Well, I want you to look at how I fixed the hip pad on, on the lining. Look at it. I sewed it round so it doesn't move. So I will not hear. Ah, she was dancing and the hip shook, um, shook. One side went down, one side went up. No, nothing like that. And then you're going to place the um, hip pad just like this. I would advise you to use your hemming gum to keep it in place. Oh, guys, look at how I placed the lining, um, the hip padding on the lining. I also went ahead to turn the down part. I went ahead to join the sides, the zipper allowance side, just like this. And then I added it to the main Ankara, sew them together. So, this is what it looked like when I was done iron your work i cannot overemphasize it the reason why it's looking all balanced and nice because it's well ironed so i've also closed the um the zipper allowance and i've also added slits and thank you so much for coming this far thank you for joining this family i can't wait to see you the next video i'm going to be posting is um on how i cut the corset part the three-part corset i did at the upper part of the dress so please Watch out for the next video and I love you so, so much. Kisses. Mwah.